project. So this is the project location. The main parameters that are driving the design are that it's going to be a lift bridge. This means that it'll be nice and down low, making it a neighborhood style bridge. And then when the boats want to go through it, it'll lift up and down. And the second thing to know is that the current I Street bridge is not going away. We're taking the cars off of that one and we're putting them on to this new one. As far as the process goes, we kickstarted with nine concepts, then we broke it down to just four, and now we're right here at Community Workshop number three, uh, where we're kind of paring it down to this batch, and the goal is by the end of the year to get it down to one selected alternative that we can go forward with in full design next year, and then go into construction in 2021, and have the bridge open in 2024. We haven't built a bridge for 85 years. As you know, the city of Sacramento and West Sacramento is growing by leaps and bounds. Connectivity and mobility are very key to the full functioning of a city. The designs that you see here are within reach. I can't say that we have the cash in hand immediately to go out and build them, but we have a pathway to get there to be able to do it. So what we've estimated to date for the through concept, we're looking at a total project cost of about 188 million. The spring concept is a total project cost of around 210 million. And then there is a jump from those two concepts to the solar arch concept came in at around 261 million. And then the garden was actually the most expensive at around 266 million. So now where do we stand to date? Currently the cities have done a great job and secured $158 million. It's a huge amount to have secured to this date. We know we're going to have to leave ourselves a funding challenge, but we don't want to leave ourselves too big of a funding challenge because when we bid this project and we get the bid results, we want to be able to build it. So we have some future funding opportunities that will be available. We've got a lot of work to do as we proceed with the design. The, the focus of this last phase of design has really been to evolve the spring and the through concepts. So first up is going to be the through concept. So this is the truss with four independent towers. It's really a direct evolution of the last version of the through that we showed. The towers have been simplified, picking up on that angled triangular geometry that's inherent in a truss and kind of using that language to, to form the towers. This would be a possibly a steel interior structure that would be clad in, in more of a contemporary architectural building facade that has a little hidden reveal. In contrast to that one, this version sits the same arrangement as version one, but instead we're now kind of picking up on a different style. So this one's a lot more rounded in its form. It's a lot more about trying to pick up on these fluid lines coming in from the riverbanks and kind of making the truss a version of the future. And so obviously the towers are much more sweeping So now we go to the spring, version one. So the spring is a basket handle tied arch structure. What that means is it's an arch where the two legs on either side of the roadway are inclined in to make it look like the handles of a basket. And then that's picked up on four sides by four towers. So this design is kind of always inherently you know, nice and transparent in the main span. And what we did in this iteration is really streamline its pathways and its structure and really tie them into the approach a lot more and and pick up on that idea of that fluid line, this metaphorical connection of the two cities being connected by a visual line. Version two. In essence, it's the same main span, so what that means is the lifting span is the same. The towers you know, can take a lot of different forms. And so this one, instead of kind of being angled outwards, is now sort of hugging the roadway a little bit more and is, is kind of has the glass on the outside instead of the inside. It's a little less angular than the last tower form and also kind of picking up on some of the color palettes and forms that you might see even in the intake facility just upriver. What's amazing about an iconic design is that it hits you emotionally. And these bridges do. So um, I encourage you to dig deep and give us great feedback. And when the bridge is built, I'm sure all of you will use it and all of you will cherish it. I know I will. It'll be a very integral part of two great cities.